Hello everyone. Welcome to Physics Content Library for Grade 8. In this video, we will revise the topic pressure with the help of a mind map. Pressure. It can be defined as the force applied over a unit area. It is calculated using the equation pressure is equal to force by area. The SI unit of pressure is Pascal or Newton per meter square. The factors that influence pressure are force and area of conduct. The greater the force applied, the greater the pressure exerted. Greater the area of conduct, the lower the pressure exerted. The next branch deals with liquid pressure. The pressure exerted by liquids is called liquid pressure. Liquids move from a region of high pressure to a region of low pressure. Liquids exert pressure on all surfaces that they touch. Liquids exert equal pressure at the same depth. The pressure exerted by a liquid increases with depth. Liquid pressure is measured by an instrument called manometer. The next branch deals with atmospheric pressure. It can be defined as the pressure exerted on the surface of an object by the weight of the column of air above it. Atmospheric pressure is measured using an instrument called barometer. The factors that influence atmospheric pressure are altitude, temperature, and humidity. With an increase in each factor, atmospheric pressure decreases. Now let's have a look at the applications of pressure in everyday life. Cutting tools have sharp edges, so the force applied is concentrated over a small area and hence a greater pressure is exerted. Heavy vehicles such as trucks and tankers are wider tires, so the weight of the vehicle is therefore distributed over a large area and the pressure exerted is reduced. Straps of school bags are usually broader than the straps of handbags. The broader straps helps to reduce the pressure exerted on the shoulders. Air pressure helps us to breathe. When we inhale, our lungs expand, reducing the air pressure inside them. This helps the air outside the lungs, which is at a high pressure, to move into the lungs. Thank you, dear children. We'll meet with another topic in the next video.